right? Like the Lord said, He gave us all power over the enemy. Call like Al Bashim El Shaddai. Only way you have all power over the enemy is through knowing the name and having faith in the name. Now let's back. Let me get Proverbs 18 and 10. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. We're going through some basic scriptures. Okay, some reminder scriptures, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Habashim Al Shah is a strong tower. That's your refuge. That's your shield. How are you doing? Good, good. So did you go through the scriptures? Yeah, I go through the scriptures. So, so what did you see, man? Were you convinced? Uh, there is no difference. Uh Lord was a dark man. You said you had to read it and find out first. So did you read and find out? Were you convinced? Yeah, I'm searching, researching. Actually, it's a big reason. It's not an ordinary thing. Nah, this is not. This is not. <laughs> See? So, yeah, I remember you, man. You said, you know what? I, I, I feel God is God. He is to everyone. Say it again. God is God. He is to everyone. He is uh, 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 not needed for any being nor is uh, away from any. He is needed to all and he is, uh, if he is, uh, if, 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 if somebody is uh, 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 doing evil, he yeah. is away from him. But who is he for though? Who is he for? Who is God for? God is for us. For all? Sure. Yes. Positive. For all. Sure, according to the Bible, it's for all. Because, because God is, uh, God is universe. Mm -hmm. In the universe, there are many planets. Mm -hmm. There are many uh, planets like this. There are the other beings on the other uh, okay, uh, parts well. of the earth. Maybe, man, not mankind, but other beings. Right, he's right. God to all. He's God to all creatures. He is God to all creatures. I'm saying, does he have a favorite creature? Yeah. No favorite. No you don't favorite. have no favorite creature? Not even Jew. Are you sure about that? Not even Jew, not even a Gentile. You sure about everybody, that? Everybody is not even a Greek. Everybody is Everybody is a, a equal in his sight. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Nothing in nature is equal. Nothing. There's no equality amongst gender. There's no equality amongst men. In the animal kingdom, nothing is equal. You have rank and order. When you're on your order. when you're on the job, there's order. When you're in the military, there's order. Nothing is equal. So, but here it's though. So the Lord said. Get some basic scriptures. Deuteronomy seven and six. Who's the most I speaking to? Let me read Deuteronomy one and one first, and then I'm gonna read Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. In case people get it from this understanding. Deuteronomy chapter one verse one. And these be, to these be the words when my Moses spake unto all Israel this Jordan in the wilderness in the plain over against the Red Sea between Haran and Padal and in Laban and Aras and Jezebel. Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, he's a demon. Don't worry about him. Yeah. It says Deuteronomy 1 and 1. It says these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses speaking to the Israelites on his side Jordan in the wilderness. I cut that guy so many times before. You see what I'm saying? He's a nobody. But let me read seven and six. We can't get like that now. So the most high speaking to Deuteronomy or Demarim may preach. It means second law. So he's speaking to the Israelites. But this is what he told the Israelites, Deuteronomy seven and six. It says For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth so it don't sound like everybody on the same level Mosai told the Israelites and it's not talking about the people in Israel like I was telling you last time those are Eastern Europeans those are common those are devils he's speaking to the Israelites you see what I'm saying which I'll show you these people here through prophecy Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians they were told you that the Jews had to go from one end of the earth even to the other and they had to serve the captivity of slavery. And the reason why they serve in captivity is slavery because we broke the law. Hey. How you doing, 
Shalom, Shalom. So the Lord said that what? You are special people unto me above all people upon the face of the earth. That's what he told Moses, tell Pharaoh that Israel is my son, even my first book. Those are my people that you got captive. And he made that promise to Abraham that your seed will serve slavery 400 years, and then I'm going to gather them and bring them back into the promised land, which is the land of Jerusalem. You see? So, and you, you mentioned Greek. Are you, willing, are you willing to go to uh, Jerusalem and Israel to settle there? Say it again, say it again. Are you willing to settle there in Israel uh, if they give an option for you? No, because that land got to be destroyed. Because you have to go to your land. No, 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 this is what the scripture says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if uh, if uh, the ending here is, he was told, all the Jews have to be gathered in Israel. I'm going to read it for you. Let's read it. Jeremiah chapter 23. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, this is the Messiah. And a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, the southern kingdom. And Israel shall dwell safely, this is the northern kingdom. And this is his name, which shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Everybody remember that deliverance. He brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt by the hand of Moses. People are not going to remember that no more. They're going to say what? But the Lord liveth, which brought up, and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, right here in North America. And from all countries, whether he had driven them. So he's going to get our people wherever they scattered. He is going to do that. And what? And they shall dwell safely. And they shall dwell in their own land. So he's going to take us wherever we scattered. The north country right here. Wherever our people are scattered at. He is going to gather us. And he is going to bring us back into the land of Jerusalem. That's prophecy. This is the land of This is the north country. This is Babylon. This is America. This is that great world that ruled over all countries. This one. Where is our land? Huh? Where is our land? Where is our land? Where is our land? Where is our land? Where do we have to go in the end? end is? We don't have to go anywhere. Like the scripture says, the Messiah is going to do that. No, oh, the Messiah comes. Oh, no, let me where, read it again. Where he rules? From the door, uh, from his let me read it again. It says, It says, But the Lord liveth, which brought up, which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries where he had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land he is going to do that that's why he said let me get Matthew the 24th chapter let me get Matthew 24 Matthew chapter 24 Matthew chapter 24 Verse 30. It says, see, you got all this words trying to block out that word. That this guy with saxophone, I guess he left. Then he saw you had that demon. That guy was a straight up demon. He was drunk. That's what the scripture says. Luke the 8th chapter, when he sowed his seed, it said, There comes the wicked one to take the seed, was what? Trying to plant in your heart or your mind. That guy was set up as a distraction. Those are demons, man. Those are scoffers. Matthew 24, verse, let's read, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. We're going to come back in the spirit. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, because they know what's going to happen to them. You bring your 
bring a death and destruction to the wicked. And then they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. Listen carefully. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect. He's going to send his angels to gather his elect. Starting with 144,000. And the one third. From the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So he's going to do that. He's going to send his angels to gather his elect. That's what the scripture says. Let's get the Thessalonians. See, this is how you break down the Bible. Everything must be one. Precept upon one. Precept. Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter 4. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not repent which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of the Most High, and the dead in the Mashiach shall rise first, the brothers of Dynamis. Then we which are alive that remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds. So he is going to deliver us. So we're going to get caught up. To meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall ever be with the Lord. Is it the Lord? Of course it's called, but you got to be a soldier. Every, every, every uh, the air is going to stand by side, you can stand a long time with the speed. They come every week. You get immune to certain things. See what he said? A lot of people say that. They say, yo, it's just too cold right here, man. You gotta be a soldier, man. I know it's cold right here, man. That's not stopping these people from doing their shopping. When New Year's Eve come, they're going to stand out there in that cold ass weather to look at some retarded ball drop. Or when some new product come up, people lining for blocks. You see? When that famine come, people are going to be lining up in the cold too. You see? So what's doing the work for you? How about Shem Yal Shah, man? Let me get a scripture. Because you have some men in this truth who make excuses as well. Oh, it's too cold. Solomon said that. Let me see if I can find that precept real quick. Let me see if it's Proverbs. Uh, As he casts forth his eyes like Mosul, who can stand before his cold, man. You got a lot of men who teach that in this truth, you don't have to go out when it's cold. What scripture is that? What scripture is that? You Satan take a break when it's cold, man? Come on, man. You just saw Satan in action. Jumped on that drunk ass asshole, made up this you know madness, and he gonna pay for that. Alright? He definitely gonna pay for that. Man. Every idle word men shall speak, they're gonna have to give an account thereof in the day of judgment. And he's already being judged. That's why he's a bum, man. That's why he's a derelict, man. And he's drunk. Okay? And a low 
Iowa State talking shit. Yeah, there's a scripture on that too, but I'll read this first. Proverbs 2020, 20, Proverbs chapter 24. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg the harvest and have nothing. So these farmers, they gotta work in the cold too. And that's throwing into what spiritual, we're spiritual farmers. What are we planting in seed? Okay? So if you don't, if you don't, if you don't plow, you can't reap, okay? can't reap the benefits or the reward that's why the scripture says Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 so the Lord ain't hearing excuses man I think I could tell the Lord in that day it was too cold it was too cold Lord Yahweh Shai go up I'm gonna put you to death man you had certain brothers who were sick unto death. Who still had to go to work, man. The Apostle Paul got stoned, resurrected, and went back to doing the work of the Lord. And let us not be weary and wealthy. You can't be tired, making excuses. For in due season, and that season is coming, our reward is coming, man. Power and rulership, everlasting life. The Lord said what? His right hand is full of pleasures forevermore. Okay? The scripture says what? The things which are not seen are eternal. This place ain't eternal. This place is on its way out. America's falling. This place is temporary. So a lot of you niggas in the Sphinx, you thought America was the kingdom of heaven, man. It is you in the ghettos and the slums and you fill up the prisons. But America's the kingdom of heaven. That's why two-thirds you gotta go. Okay? And you are gonna go, man. Alright? Galatians 6 and 9. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Okay? It's all about running the race. It's a race of endurance. You can't faint or get tired or get weak. And if you feel yourself getting weak, that's when you fast and that's when you pray. Fasting is what? One of the top spiritual tools you can use in this tool to strengthen your spirit, man. Okay? Because you all gonna get tired at times. You just gonna happen. We in the flesh. Okay, you all gonna be weary at times, but that's where praying and fasting come in. Okay? And also, that's why the beautiful thing about the Sabbath, you feel yourself going off. When the Sabbath come in, you automatically what? Lock in, man. You got a lot of demons out here today, man. You see? But you only have to tolerate any stupidity only for a little time, man. Okay? That's what the scripture says. Then he gets Job the 20th chapter. Job chapter 20. A lot of prophecy this week, man. Job chapter 20, verse 3. Verse 4. Knowing this. Chapter 3. I have heard the check on my reproach and the spirit. Cause the need to answer. That's how we answer all things through the Spirit. The Rakaka Dash. Knowing thou, knowing thou, not disavowed, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short. <laughs> the triumphant of the wicked is very short. It looks like they prospered for a long time. It looked like these Edomites, these white people, wasn't getting touched by anything, man. The best neighborhoods, the, the best jobs. They go on these, uh, uh, you know? They go on these grand vacations. You see? You see what I'm saying? They can take their kids to the best colleges. You see? Because why? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But the scripture says what? The triumphant of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite is what for a moment, man. For a short time. See? And the reason why the wicked is ruling is because of our disobedience. That's why, man. We're coming in a time now where the most high is about to cast him down. Like Yahweh Shai said, I beheld Satan's kingdom 
is falling fast as lightning, man. And this place is going to fall fast on all levels. It's going to be a domino effect. Okay, that government shutdown, that's affecting the economy. GM, Ford, American-based companies, thousands of jobs gone, man. Okay, Walmart, uh, next year as well. Sears, there's also another company. That's, um, there's American, uh, Cisco. We supply the food to these restaurants. They downsizing as well next year. You see? It's about to get real ugly out here, man. It's about to get nasty out here, man. Only the, only the elect men, man. Do fifty how about Shimmy Al-Shah gonna make it through. See? They said that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Those excellency mount up to the heavens because the scripture says he make his nest amongst the stars. And his head will reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever. He's talking about Esau, so a white man. Like his own dung, they which see him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as the vision of the night. Joy of the hypocrite is one form. Okay? And we gonna see it, man. That's why Sirach said this. Ecclesiastes, the 25th chapter. These scriptures are being demons. They're trying to enter the word of the Lord, man. They say it, you lost 2,000 years ago, man. Ecclesiastes, chapter 25. Let me see if I can find this. This cuts that up, that asshole that just walked, that damn Derlick, man. Ecclesiastes 25, 3. Talking about you guys ain't Israelites, you just niggas. Some dirty dreadlock dude, man. Ecclesiastes 25 and 2. Three sorts of men my soul hated, and my, I am greatly offended at their life. <laughs> oh, Sirach is in the spirit. A poor man that is proud, man, like you just saw. You just heard, I should say. A poor man that is proud. How you poor? How you in a, a base state? And you proud talking shit. Against the word of the Lord. Okay. So death to that dude, man. And he got cut many times. But let me talk to the scripture I want. As well. Verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy, that brings joy to a man's heart. So the triumphant of the wicked is short, so I can be blow my nose. And the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. All these people out here, they're hypocrites. A bunch of actors, man. Okay? You saw the chief actor. get one more scripture on that and the other thing you got going on you got these conscious clowns this young this other dude I seen the video the other day just popped up checking on this uh what this demon sonnet have been saying and 
everybody exposing this other dude, Young Pharaoh, man. And he was the guy who exposed for life. Guess what? You, all you guys going down, man. Because that's not no that's not the house of consciousness, man. None of you guys are woke, man. Okay, you guys still on this pan African Egyptology foolishness, man. That Esau done digged up some relics. And there's over 50 different countries in Africa. Why specifically just the Egyptians? Because you see the glamour and the gold and the rich history. We have a richer history, okay? Joseph is the one that made Egypt great, man. He saved Egypt from famine. Come on, man. And the Most High destroyed them nasty ass Egyptians, man. When you go into the Josephus, which, you know, the elders said we don't really, um, you know, push that. But that's a history book. It tells you that Abraham taught the Egyptians basic arithmetic and logic, man. Basic mathematics. Okay? He also taught them astrology. They go into the Josephus, but we don't really push that. But that's just what? History, man. Our forefathers, man, made that place great, man. Okay? Because they had the greatest people as slaves. Same thing as America. Same thing as ancient Babylonians with Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel was one of the um, um, presidents, man. Okay? And they went to Daniel for counsel. Same thing with the Persians and the Medes. Went to Daniel for counsel, man. Who made the Greeks great? It was the black Greeks. The Hellenists. When you go into the Spartans and the Lacedaemonians. Israelites. It was so what? Um, it looked like so-called Negroes, man. Okay? They had the long, braided hair and they were dark skin. When you go into the, uh, the Colosseums, Rome, who would, who would have won just like you have Jake dominate today in the Colosseums, man? And the UFC and boxing, the Floyd Mayweather, the Daniel Cormier's, John Jones, the Deontay Wilders, okay? The Anthony Joshua's, the Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, the Michael Jordan's, the Usain Bolt's. It's the same thing that you had back then. So we make this place great, man. The scripture says what? Ye are the salt of the earth. So you guys cling to that dead history, man. And I'm going to get scriptures on you guys, man. Okay? Because we're not no damn Egyptians, man. Most High's not dealing with the Egyptians, man. Egypt is dead, man. Okay, you got Arabs over there, and the rest of their history is in museums. Okay? And the most high, what he did to Egypt, he gonna do it to America. And Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai name only is gonna be exalted in that day. Okay? And that's why that whole thing is false. Because it's not the truth, man. Just like Christianity is not the truth. Islam, that garbage, that's not the truth either. Man. Okay? And America, of course. It's far from being true. Everything here is wicked, man. All kind of sodomy and transgenders walking up and down. Come on, man. This place is far from being righteous, man. It's vile and it's despicable, man. So we're not following the ways of this world, man. We need to dive into these scriptures, keep studying to show thyself approved. Okay, fast break. Buckle your seatbelts, because it's about to get up. Like I said, you conscious clowns. Okay, all you guys are going down, man. Okay? Because why? Like the scripture said, you made lies your refuge.